Hello world and welcome to Elevated Intuition. Today we are doing a picket card reading for who is your spirit guide and what do they want to tell you. So I am a big believer in, um, and we have more than one spirit guide. We have guardian angels. We have um, a, a whole team around us really, even including our our um, higher self. But this is a spirit guide that's coming through who they are and um, so there's a description of them and which kind of helps you in interacting with them if you want to connect with them more deeply and then there's some really fun messages that come through I work with seven different decks so when you click on the description below when you have find your timestamp I'm gonna have cards all over the place uh, because you know Nobody has time to flip through and uh, shuffle through seven decks. So I already started off and we get a lot of really fun information. But then these guys, I do shuffle on camera. So we get some more um, information about your spirit guide and really the mess, the important thing, like what they want you to know, the messages that they have for you right now. So for group one, if you like to pick with objects, group one is going to be this pink mukite heart and this is the light seers tarot group two this is golden art nouveau tarot and group two is this um, rainbow fluorite heart group three this is mystical mondays and this is a gold stone heart if you're still not sure which group is for you, you can do a breathing exercise with me where I invite you to right now, go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in and release. Okay, we're going to set the intention that we will get the messages that we need to hear. Go ahead and take another deep breath in and release. All right, open your eyes and wherever your eyes are drawn, that is the group for you. Again, thank you for being here with me and I will meet you at your reading. Hello, group one. So I am working with, or we are working because you're here working with me. We are working with like seven decks today. So I went ahead and each one of these cards is from a different deck. I went ahead and shuffled that off a of camera. We are going to shuffle this one on camera and I have another one on camera we will shuffle. So the answer to the question of who is your spirit guide and what messages do they have for you right now? Your spirit guide, this is the main spirit guide that we have coming through for you. And your spirit guide is very much attached to you. Um, they're <laughs> showing the number one. They have been with you for a long time, for a long journey. They want you to remember. So there is something in your past that will give you clues to who your spirit guide is. is. Um, and it's whether it is, because they have been with you through different lifetimes and you've been with them. I feel like you kind of guys go back and forth to journeying and helping each other because I feel like um, this is all about a journey for you and a journey for them as well. So it is, um, and they've got some messages here for you about allowing the journey to happen, trusting them and trusting yourself. Um, but the poppy is about remembrance. Law of attachment is, you know, we are in this very physical world and we get attached to things pretty quickly. Physical things, money for instance is one thing, ideas is another thing. And the law of attachment is comes through for a couple reasons. First of all, they're very much attached to you and they're never going to leave you high and dry. They're always going to be with you. So if you ever need to reach out and speak to them, go ahead and do that. Remembrance here, I kind of feel like maybe there is like the name for them. Um, it could be like a toy or something that you named in the past if you had like a specific um, doll or maybe even a, a um, an imaginary friend that that is coming through is kind of like remember the name remember who they are um, you have talked to them in the past and it was probably when you were very young if you had a specific 
you know, stuffy blanket, you had a specific name, you had something like that, and they want you to, um, you know, for who they are, it, they want you, like you've talked to them forever. They know who you are, you know who they are, and maybe you've forgotten at the moment. There are specific messages for you. They send you messages with synchronicities. Here we've got the white raven spirit. Um, they will send you messages with, um, you know, there are no coincidences. They line things up and they take very much pride in lining those things up for you. And they want you to trust the signs. If you're ever questioning like, I'm seeing a double number 6-6, six, six, does that mean anything? Or 11-11 or 10-10, yes. Um, that is just them saying, hey, I'm here with you. You're not alone. We're here to journey together. So um, I didn't really speak about this card, even though I kind of did. Um, we'll take uh, our attention towards it here. Imra, where are you being called to journey? Pay attention to your callings. Pay attention to the cravings that you get. And it's not always a craving about a particular place like if you feel like you need to be at a park or you need to just go a different way um, a different direction like you normally go to work a certain way and you're being called to do do a different journey today um, maybe it's you've always wanted to see a particular ocean maybe you've always wanted to climb a particular mountain um, start paying attention to those yearnings and cravings you might even make a vision board about it sometimes that might be enough um, if it is something because sometimes like i i get cravings to do something with mountains i'm not going to go to mount everest but i might um i actually live near mountains so it's not that difficult for me i can i can go to a mountain i can journey to a mountain maybe it is you you feel like, like the mountains are calling and you feel like you need to just go to like a high point a high place and just really experience that and let yourself go and really trust yourself trust the synchronicities trust the magic that happens for you there might be a special connection to birds this is a white raven spirit on here um ravens are very um, they mean a lot to people, but it could be an owl, um, it could even be butterflies, something that, uh, butterflies, dragonflies, ravens, owls, maybe even an eagle here. So whatever it is that calls to you, we all live in different areas, so, um, and, and it might even be where, wow, I didn't know there were seagulls in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so it, it is something because the the it's a white raven so it's something um, out of the ordinary particular that you're you're noticing um, about something flying a bird um, something something like that and you specifically notice something out of the ordinary that is your spirit guide. Um, talking to you and tell you know do, telling you you're on the right path telling that you that they're with you telling you that they are available to work with you as well and I feel like especially this trust the magic it's not just in them it's in yourself as well and I feel like they also want to tell you that um, you know you might have this particular attachment to something going on in your life um, Question that. Question those attachments. Why am I so attached to this particular outcome? Why do I think I need to go to school for this thing? Is that really what I want? Is it really is it really the path that I'm choosing, or is it the path that's being chosen for me? So they really want you to start questioning certain things. Sometimes you'll come back with the answer of Yeah, that's that is. I, I really feel drawn or called to to be in medicine or to be a healer. And so other times it can be. Um, wait a second. I just made up my mind to do that when I was like 13 because. Um, my crush thought it was a cool idea and I've never questioned that as being the right path for me. What is it that 
my heart really does desire. So these are the types of things because the journey is really important to you, but it's also that, you know, where are you headed to? Where do you want to go? And it's time to start thinking about the world that you want to create and you as a person who you want to create because you're very powerful and they are here to assist you and help you in creating that. Allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in this wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So, and where the universe is your partner, your spirit guide is your partner as well. And they want you to know that they are with you. So I'm just going to get some cards over here a little bit more about your spirit guide. What else can you tell me about the spirit guide? We have nine of pentacles. What else can you tell me about the spirit guide? And we have the fool. So even though sometimes this journey might seem like you're brand new on this journey, um, it, it was really something that you and your spirit guide have discussed. And, and again, they're here with you. Um, and what's more important, it's interesting that we have the nine of pentacles reversed when it comes over here to the law of attachment. Because one of the things that the law of attachment speaks about being attached to is money, is material things. And the Nine of Pentacles speaks about um, obtaining that money and attaining your, your material things. And I don't think that's out of line or out of the cards for you. I just think that there's something bigger for you. There's something that's more important than money, that's more important than the physical, and it's um, more in line with um, your 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 spiritual journey and your spiritual awakening and working with other people as well i don't think that this is a really a lone experience um, you might have a particular partner husband wife spouse um, that you are working working with and i also don't want you to feel bad if you are not like raking in the dough here, making a ton of money. I don't feel like that, that's not how, the only way that we need to define success. And then we have the five of cups. That's interesting that that comes out as well. Five of cups is kind of, um, it, it is um, really kind of a shift of our focus. We have five cups here, one, two, three, four, and then five back here. And it, this one is really interesting, Five of Cups, because these have kind of spilled out, and then because we're upset about that, she is like spilling out that third cup. Um, your spirit guide wants to remind you uh, not to self sabotage. And I, I feel like um, sometimes we just get into that kind of funk and. We're not happy about anything, so then we make our existence not happy. This came out in reverse. So it is something that to hold a higher perspective when you're in that moment and to look at um, yourself through their eyes. Let's see, what else about their spirit guide? Can you give me other details about their spirit guide? A lot of messages. Tell me about the spirit guide. Your spirit guide loves you without judgment, and your spirit guide is really the higher extension of yourself. This is really beautiful. I love this particular judgment card. Judgment is usually kind of like a law and order type of card where we've got the um, scales that are balanced, and we've got the um, the lady justice holding the scales and she's got the blindfold on um, your spirit guide is just really they really love you and they really they really think the world of you even when you don't think the world of yourself they think that you have an amazing abundance of potential and they don't want you to get lost in self-sabotage they are really um, 
you're they're very connected to your higher self they're very connected um, to you and again I just feel like that you guys go back and forth um, them being your spirit guide you being their spirit guide they've known you through several lifetimes and you've known them and you've worked together anything else you can tell us about a spirit guide we get two cards we get the eight of cups and we get strength so <laughs> it's, it's interesting all these cards that are coming out in reverse here except for this judgment whenever you feel like walking away or when you feel like you don't have the strength they your spirit guide wants you to hand over that responsibility to them they want you to rest they don't want you to um, again that self-sabotage that walking away from things uh, they want you to know that you're stronger than you know even if you don't believe that and if you need help with your your thoughts or the things coming in and you need to um, get a grasp on that on your thoughts or on your emotions they want to, they want you to talk to them uh, they want you to uh, you know, help lean on them and let them help you sort it out. Give it to them. Give them, you've done this for them in the past as well. So it's not like you aren't being weak calling them in. That's what, that's, that's literally their job and what they want to do for you. Um, they just want you to be find some peace through this reading they want you to find some reassurance they want you to find some love they want you to know they think you're pretty amazing and um i just if they could tell you something what do they want to tell you <laughs> letting go look at this um i don't dwell on bad things that happened i let things go because I have enough heavy things to carry around and also grudges aren't a great look. So letting those things go, letting, um, I really like this too, is kind of like this, again, it kind of goes back to that, that number one card that got pulled, that came out here with the, this is the law of attachment and judgment and letting go and really releasing. Um, you are meant to discover yourself through letting go. You're meant to discover yourself through releasing of all of, uh, you know, you're very layered. You have a lot of depth to you. And um, we are releasing and letting go of um, really it's more of ideas that don't serve us that we're, we're carrying around grudges of course emotional baggage we're letting go of all of that because and I just love this um, camel here because he's going on a journey because this is a journey and um, it's not like those video games where we have a backpack that has an infinite amount of baggage that we can carry with us. In one hand, yes, that does make us very strong. You are a very strong person, but it doesn't mean that you have to be strong all the time. It doesn't mean that you have to carry that baggage around. And strength is less physical although don't ignore the physical um, as it is like this is an emotional strength of yours um, and when you forgive and forget and let go and release um, there's let I also there's an integrity here that um, they see in you they love that about you and they want you to you know just Okay, sera, sera, whatever will be, will be, let go, um, so that your journey, you know, so that, it, and it's also so that you're not cluttered with that journey, so that you see it clearly rather than through um, this emotional lens of of things that have occurred in the past. It's interesting too, like this um, poppy kind of does remind us 
It is about remembrance, is what the poppy is about. And I don't feel like it's a remember of the past to like repeat, or, or of course we want to remember the past. A remembrance is about, but it's about us allowing that remembrance to move forward. And what I mean by that is we remember the good things and the bad because we want to repeat the good things and avoid the bad. And But if we dwell on the bad things, then it just is something that keeps, the energy of it keeps occurring right now. So I just feel like your spirit guide is... Uh, really want you to to release and let go. Um, there might be something that you're, you know, for some of you, there might be an, something that wasn't great that happened to you, and you have been angry with your spirit guide. And um, you know, it's all for a higher purpose. They want you to know that you, they've always been with you. And it's, it's time to release that. And if you need to journal to help release that or talk that out with them, um, a stream of consciousness, open up the consciousness um, to allow, there might be some work that you need to do with them in regard to that. But they're here, they're here for you, and they've always been here for you. So that's what I have for you, group one. Uh, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here with me, and I will see you in the next reading. Hello, group two. We are working with like seven decks today, so I went ahead and already um, shuffled these and pulled them out because it's kind of a tedious process. And um, this is all about your spirit guide, who they are and what they want to tell you. And I feel like your spirit guide, I mean, look at this. We get the law of love, we have dog, we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. And I feel like that, you know, the dog here, like they want to hold you, they hold you. I also feel like they may have incarnated as like um, an, an animal. They may be your spirit animal. They may be, um, or they may have just embodied um, a pet of yours at one point, just so they could have that physical touch with you to, to hug you or reassure you in times that you have needed that. Um, skunk spirit know your worth but your spirit guide is for sure very spunky very protective and um, yeah hell hath no fury I feel like there's um, a very feminine spirit here um, coming through and I was gonna say like hell hath no fury like a woman scorned somebody who crosses um, you or means to do harm like uh, karma, but I feel like your spirit guide is there to, um, is there for that karma, for that bad karma, <laughs> for that other person who, um, goes after you because they do not mess around. And then we have empowerment. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully, completely uniting us with others in deep trust that we all are connected through the same source. They share a deep connection with you. They also want you to, um, you know, skunk spirit and empowerment, they really want you to feel your power and feel their power with you. Um, they want you to know that they are here to protect you, that they are always around because they absolutely love you. And I hope that you really feel their presence in your heart. Uh, because that is where they are really like that love, that love chakra or that heart chakra. They're very connected to that and they want to just in, embody you in this, uh, like this huge hug. I love this dog here. Um, of course, dogs are, are loyal and lovely, but they just, they are very comforting and they want to comfort you at when you are, are down or at your worst. But they also want to be like your pillar of strength. 
so that you can go and comfort others. I kind of am getting the feeling like as above, so below. So the things that they do for you to protect you and watch over you, like you kind of do that for your friends and family and protect and watch over others. So they do that so that you can do that for others. There's a selflessness in here uh, for them, but also for you. I'm getting, again, a very feminine energy. Um, they want to make sure that you take care of yourself, though. Um, they will make sure that they take care of themselves so that they are um, on board and on call and ready for you to help you. But um, I also feel like the skunk spirit and then this deep replenishment is set boundaries. Just because you want to be open and available to help other people just because you are feel like you are very strong like you're a fighter um, you have the ability to uh, speak up and your voice be heard um, it doesn't mean that I, I think that can get you into some some sticky situations with people who would want to try to take advantage of you um, and your kindness so make sure that you set boundaries like um, you know, I think you could be susceptible to some kind of, oh, I'm going to put this stone here. I forgot to do that. I'm looking at the deck because I'm getting ready to pull it out. Um, I think you could be susceptible to um, some sob stories and you want to believe other people and you want to help them. Oh, and also like they really very much could use help, but your uh, spirit guide wants you to make sure that you are taken care of first, that you take care of yourself first, and then you also put some boundaries behind it. Like, yes, I am open and willing to help you. I'm available to help you. I can help you in this way, but it's got to be on your terms. So for instance, like you're signing up to help somebody move great. Um, you have a window that you can do that. Great. They aren't even like, then <laughs> I feel like you get in, um, vested in somebody else's project way more than that other person. So you show up at the time where you say that you can help them. They're not even there. And then you wait around through that whole like time and then they show up and you're like, hey, I gotta go. And they're like, well, you not, you're not even gonna help me? You don't even care about me? There's some guilt trip kind of things there that people can lay on others. And it is, no, stand your ground. You, you know your worth, you know who you are. Um, you are this um, amazing, loving person. And um, just because, you know, you don't get more invested in somebody else's project than they are. Um, you got to make sure that you take care of yourself first and um, your spirit guide wants you to know that. It also is, even though, I mean, that is actually the kind thing in that scenario that I was talking about because you're teaching not only that person about your boundaries, but they're probably in a situation where they need your help or their dire situation because they don't respect other people and their time. And um, sometimes you kind of are the person who has to show that to them. And you have the backing of your spirit guide in that situation. And if you ever need to fall back on something or someone, you can talk to your pets or talk to animals. It's, it's a direct line to your spirit guide. Okay, that's temperance. Uh, you're really coming into your power and they want you to know that they're very proud of you. Um, what do we have here? This is the King of Wands. We've got Temperance reversed. We've got the Eight of Swords reversed. We've got the Eight of um, Eight of uh, Wands upright. So I just I kind of feel like there are times when you aren't balanced. Uh, this is <laughs> so we've got the Temperance here with the Deep Replenishment. 
Um, they want you to make sure that you're taking care of yourself first. They want you to make sure that you are stepping up in your energy. I just feel like these, these two cards are in reverse because you aren't always claiming them. You're not always claiming the power that we have in them. Um, angelic realms, there are angels, um, your spirit guide. I wouldn't call your spirit guide a, an angel. You know, there's, you do have guardian angels around you as well. And you don't always see them, but they're with you too. So your spirit guide wants you to know that there's an entire team around you. And I love this, her filling her cup here. Um, I just feel like your spirit guide is some more down to earth than necessarily an angel or uh, you know they're very on the level with you I think that they have spent time on earth I think that they have um, and again like I said I think that sometimes they pop in as animals or pets to kind of visit you um, and they're certainly there and aware of that. Uh, they very much are, they connect with that unconditional love. But they want to make sure that you are balanced, that you you can't pour from an empty cup. Uh, make sure that you are taking care of yourself first. And I think that you have a tendency to put others before you. Again, they're like, use your boundaries, take care of yourself first, and then move forward and everybody is going to be um, happier uh, up like you don't think that that is true but that is true I think you're gonna have a higher ability of actually being able to help people in that way I'm getting the image of when you're on an airplane and the oxygen masks drops down like they tell you to fix your oxygen mask first rather than somebody else even though you would selflessly help that other person uh, before yourself like I think you put other people before yourself a lot and they recognize that and that's one of the things that they love about you but it's one of the things that they're telling you hey that is kind of holding you back a little bit on this power and you could actually help more people if you help yourself first I do feel like this King of Wands energy is something for you to claim. I feel like it's something for you to, like they don't feel like you're um, empowering yourself enough. They don't feel like you're putting the boundaries there enough. They want you to be more creative. They want you to take control over creativity. They want you to control the controllables. It's funny that comes up here. Um, and through that is putting yourself first. Um, I don't see you on a throne. I don't see your, your spirit guide on a throne, which is kind of, like I said, I feel like they're just really down to earth. They want, like they're really walking with you all the time. They love you and they want to be with you that much. And they have such a connection with animals is, and I feel like you do too. I just always want to hug you. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords is, I just kind of feel like when these are reversed, the Eight of Swords is about, you know, you kind of holding yourself back and they want you to release that. They want you to release you holding yourself back. They want you to, again, this empowerment, this realizing your power. And they also feel like um, they don't want you to fear change, that the change can happen swiftly and um, they want you to embrace change. I kind of feel like you have can hold back on change. It's interesting that we have two eights here. Um, you know, the only thing that is constant is change, and they want you to um, to just relax a little bit. I don't think you're gonna fear it or be as um, worried about it. I mean, I kind of see like the eight of swords a little bit as anxiety. I don't think you're going to fear it or worry about it if you are in your power, if you are um, using them in the proper way, I will say. If you are putting boundaries around yourself, if you are loving yourself first. And let's see, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about yourself? Anything else you'd like to tell group two about you? I love this spirit guide. Thank you so much for being here. 
what's something else we can tell them about you? <laughs> Hold on, just one card. What can you tell us about, there we go. Um, they work hard, but not really. They're more of a, a joyful in the moment. Um, and they don't, they're, they're not, they don't think that you have to like work hard all the time. They want you to um, enjoy yourself and have fun and, um, and they're not about working either. They're more, um, again, like the, the love, the emotions, the, um, the, the spiritual um, side of that. They will visit you more in, through creativity through animals, through creativity, than they will necessarily when you're working or or in nature, which the other group. Okay, so if you could tell group two something, what would you tell them? What would you tell group two? Is there anything you'd like to tell them? <laughs> yeah, good things to come. There's so many amazing gifts coming your way, my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under the wrapping paper, but they will soon they will show up when the time is right and that's when I'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised. So your spirit guide wants you to know that there's a lot of surprises coming for you. Um, I think especially when you you know, embrace yourself and put yourself first and fill your own cup first. I think that they can happen very quickly. I think that's why this this eight of wands is here. Embrace your creativity. There's a lot of fun surprises and they want to surprise you with these beautiful things coming in. They're excited. They want to see you unwrap these gifts and they're, like I said, they're with you all the way. They're, they're excited to see this transformation a little bit of you leveling up of you I don't want to say imposing your power but realizing um, your strength and no is a strength saying no when the, the situation isn't right that's part of boundaries they want you to say it's okay to say no to something if it doesn't align with you or who you are um, so that's just something to tell you and um, they're excited. They're excited to be here. I think some of the gifts are not necessarily going to be physical gifts. Like this shows a, a car. But it's because they, they are very much on the realm of um, ideas and creativity and emotions and um, emotional well-being and that type of love and fulfillment. I, I feel like the gifts are more in that vein that this spirit guide has for you, but that's the reading that I have for you, group two. Um, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here with me, and I will see you in the next reading. Hello, group three. <clears throat> so I'm working with like seven decks today. That's why I have these already out here because it's a little tedious to do all of the shuffling on camera. Um, Goldstone number three, this uh, Mystic Mondays deck, you're in the right place. Let's talk about your spirit guide and the messages that they have for you. As to who they are, um, they've known you before. Uh, you have a connection with them in the spirit realm. Um, they you know, I've, I got this message with another group where um, you and them have like gone back and forth of, about being spirit guides, but they are, they're, they've been your spirit guide before and um, they're happy to do that. They're very happy to be your spirit guide. They might be a little colder <laughs> than some of the other spirit guides um, if you do need them 
you are very welcome to speak to them, to talk to them, to ask them to come in. They are, but they're very happy to sit and watch because they think the world of you and they think that you've got this. They think that you have this handled. Um, we have stagnation here, destiny, and I'm going to talk about these two cards first. Stagnation. It's really interesting. I just am getting like goldfish here. So if you you might have goldfish, some of you, or or koi fish, that might be some. There might be some way that they communicate with you, in that regard. With fish, that might be important for you. But um, stagnation. A lot of times we feel like nothing is happening, and then we have got the chaos of something happening all at once. Your, your spirit guide wants you to know, like this, these, this is kind of destined destiny. This is what you've asked for. They also want you to know, though, if it is ever comes to a point where it's like, this isn't serving me. This isn't what I want anymore. That. Uh, with unbound, like you can release those contracts and those patterns. Um, destiny here, you have, even though um, destiny is kind of like one of those things where I think of as something being scripted moving forward, like it's destined, your destiny. But it's funny because this card um, really does talk about you deciding what your destiny is going to be. So just because you had an idea, like there's certainly a contract between you and your spirit guide, but just because you had a specific idea of what you wanted and the way that things should go, it doesn't mean that it needs to go that way now that we're here. And that might be why your spirit guide is a little bit of ha more hands off than let's say other spirit guides because they think that you have it handled. They know you're very capable of it, but if you ever are questioning or you are um, wanting to shake things up a little bit, um, just call on them. They're here. They're really are here to, for you and to guide you, um, to protect you. They're very protective of you, even though they're they're kind of there's a very masculine energy here. As you know, it's it's more of like a um, like that guiding kind of father energy where they're like. Um, where, you know, your mom would intercede on something and your dad's like, well, let, let, let's see what the kid's got. Let's see what the kid can do. Let's see. And I think they might call you the kid a little bit. That's, it's interesting that that popped up. Um, hair also. So fish and hair. <laughs> um, I, I I can't make these things up. Um, I feel like hair is important, um, either as a symbol for you or it's it might be one of their vanities but I just see a vanity around hair and um, you know the your eyes are the portals to your soul that's coming up too so take that how you want to take that but um, I think that they're just saying that it's okay to to be vain about certain things if you want to don't don't feel guilty about it um, they love your hair as well uh, and yeah so if there's anything they, they just feel like you're on your life path and you are progressing and doing it and if you ever are are just feel like you're in uncharted territory or feel like it's too much or feel like you're going down a path that you're not supposed to go down um, call on them they're there to help guide but again they're going to be a little bit more standoffish than maybe other spirit guides inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart so i feel like this is um you know with the stagnation and this inner temple I just really see meditation as a way to connect with them i feel like they will gently come in and guide with ideas i don't feel like they're going to um again they're not going to come in and supersede things they're just going to allow you to do your thing because this miracle over here and the destiny like they see you as somebody who is very very powerful and capable um they see you as very capable even at times when you feel like you're not as capable um even if you just need a pep talk they're here they're really they really are here for you for that but um opening up your heart chakra and um, 
um, asking for a sign, meditation, the stillness, the stagnation. I feel like um, getting rid of all the clutter and then you can hear their voice. So it's relaxing, it's turning everything off, it's sitting in the moment, it's releasing the anxiety, um, releasing the, the to-do lists, releasing everything that you have going on in your day so that you can hear their voice. It's going to be a strong voice, but it's not going to be overpowering. Um, they're not in competition with anything else. So if you want to speak with them, you're going to have to sit in stillness and connect with them. But they will connect with love. They will connect with kindness. They will help lead you with your heart. They will lead you with your feelings. So if you are stuck in a situation where you're not sure what is right for you, sit there in that moment and open up that heart chakra. You might I have my hand on my chest right now. You can't see it, but I just have my hand on my eyes closed and my hand on my heart chakra and they will help you and guide you to that answer. Um, lion spirits, be generous of, sp of of spirit so it's connecting with spirit it's being it's they're very generous with you and to you but it's they're it's all about you connecting with them they're not going to be forceful even though they are they do have a great strength so you can put a lot of things on their shoulders anything that you need to release and give up to them they will handle it and help you with it um, but it has to come from you and you have to connect to them they're not going to interfere they're not going to to um, come down here and mess with things um, our last group their spirit guide was going to mess with things, <laughs> but yours is not. Yours is allowing you um, to grow and make state mistakes, but really because they trust you to make miracles. The frequency of miracles supports our belief in ourselves as part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. So anything is possible. I feel it with the destiny and the miracle, oh my gosh, so powerful. And then the unbound, the releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. I feel like you might be on a mission to release some past lives things, not only for yourself, but I think for your ancestors. I think there's a strong connection to releasing things from your ancestors and um, just changing the future and maybe even changing the way that we we look at and view the past based on the work and the experiences that you're here for but it is all heart led it is all through your heart chakra and your connection with source and your connection with your spirit guide and also your spirit guide is never going to interfere with your connection with source either um just that coming through oh okay hold on we get ten of wands nine of cups <laughs> yeah what else does your spirit guide want to tell me? Wow, I'm going to tell you a lot of stuff. Who are they and what do they want to tell you? Seven of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Look at these two tens. There's a lot of release here. There's a lot of letting go and release, releasing of the past, releasing of um, things that no longer serve you, releasing um, of, and I feel like a lot of this might be ancestral. So, there is there have been studies where we pass on feelings um, trauma things like that through our dna so sometimes we just have like this really illogical fear of let's say water and that was like a trauma from our past from our ancestors it, and uh, look at this ten of swords it just feels like uh, you know sometimes we're just born with all of this garbage and this junk and really in the human experience we kind of are that way anyway just because of the systems that we're born into just of like what's going on and like burdens here and but the great thing about the tens is it comes to a point where the burdens are you, you know if it's just a minor annoyance you just go around it 
so that you can go about your day and you're not really paying attention of it. I'm, I'm thinking of like, you know, you have like a pain in your ankle. And it's like, ah, you know, I'm gonna band-aid it. I'm just gonna go about my day. It's not, not holding me back. Until that becomes so intense, which is kind of the tense that you have to do something about it. And, um, you know, the lion spirit, there's a great strength here. So it's not only your um, spirit guide has strength, but you have this great strength to come in. And sometimes we don't feel like it. We don't feel like we're like, why am I here? What the heck am I doing? Why me? Why at this time? This is all crazy town. Why am I here? You're here because you're strong enough to handle it. You're here because you are like just noticing these ridiculous things that are happening like within society or have happened within your your lineage that that are not going to happen now that you're here, that you are here to change. So we get the nine of cups and the seven of pentacles beautiful. The Nine of Cups is the wish card. <laughs> this is crazy. Destiny, Miracle, and the wish card. Um, basically, your spirit guide wants you to know that, and they're willing to help you with this, you just have to ask because they want to put, they know that you will put in the work and they are willing to put in the work with this as well because it's a really important endeavor and it is really, um, like you're, ready to and I think most of the work you've already done it's just kind of like the waiting on it it's just kind of like maybe the intentions that you're putting forth the uh, the the wishes what what wishes do you want if you could change if you could be if you could do anything what would it be and you might even start writing these things down and putting your intentions out there your intentions start with like waking up at the in the uh, in the day and I I intend that this is gonna be a great day I intend that I am gonna do this 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 and this great start with those types of intentions get in the shower I'm gonna have an amazing shower I'm gonna have an amazing idea in the shower I am gonna feel clean I'm gonna feel happy I'm gonna feel fulfilled get in your car I am putting forth the intention that on my way to wherever I am journeying that it's going I'm first I'm, I'm gonna have a safe journey I'm gonna have a fun journey I'm gonna listen to some great music I'm gonna allow everybody in everybody's gonna allow me in. we're gonna have a great time so you start with those small things it's amazing I'm telling you setting those types of intentions and being this creator then you can start on bigger things I intend to love my friends and family so much that they feel they feel it intensely i intend that i'm going to be a bright light here on earth at this time and we're going to achieve peace i intend that we are going to tear down um you know whatever walls that you see that are a problem uh, set those intentions because you are a very very powerful group three and um, really just setting the intentions and then allowing your spirit team um, and source to work on it it's gonna be amazing and huge it's interesting that the seven of pentacles is here the seven of pentacles is like you work 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 and then it's not quite there yet watching uh you know you put the the water in the pot you salted the water you put the heat on and you're just sitting there waiting for it to boil you've done all the things that you need to do <sighs> relax maybe you're sitting in stagnation for a minute and um, you don't have to keep going and going and going all the time five of wands you don't have to show up to every um fight that you're invited to either so and sometimes you can just agree to disagree. Um, sometimes you can agree to disagree with your spirit guide. I think there's times when you don't always agree with them and that's okay. I think that's part of the contracts. Um, you can release yourself from that. You can. I feel like your spirit guide is definitely somebody that you wanna keep around, but um, like you don't have to fight with them. It doesn't have to be a fight. Uh, the five of wands kind of can, you know, the five of wands and the five of swords have a very similar vibe. But five of wands, there's a little bit more passion, I think, more energy. It can be competition. I think that it can be, sometimes you get into, you know, 
things aren't always easy and the reason for that is for growth um, we are <laughs> If things were easy, we would never move. We would never change. If, if, if it was easy to hang out at home with my parents, I'd never move out of their, their basement, for instance. Um, if it was easy to just stay where you were all the time, um, we would never expand. We would never change. We would never be going to Mars. We would never be going to the moon. We would never feel that desire. So when you come up against some sort of disagreement with somebody, some sort of conflict, something that makes you uneasy, something that, um, something that you even become passionate about, um, listen to those urges, listen to those things. It's for your growth. And at times, like uh, the way these are all crossed, they're kind of like, pushing against each other, um, causing kind of like a, a strife here. Um, it's, it's almost like a knot kind of thing. It will move out of that knot. Um, once you start asking like, what's the purpose of this? Why is this happening? And then I just am asking your spirit guide, if they could tell you something, what would they tell you? Um, what does your spirit guide want to tell you? idea partnership. So, <laughs> uh, I am a rare and precious find and my brilliance will be reflected back to me when I'm paired with my true match. My ideal partnership and working relationships are easy and free flowing. I deserve greatness because I am greatness. And to paraphrase Rami, what I'm looking for is also looking for me. In fact, he or she might be paraphrasing Rami right now. Hmm. So I feel like there's a perfect, there, this ideal partnership, like it's an ideal partnership between you and your spirit guide, but it's also that you should be looking for those ideal partnerships um, here on earth. But they're looking for you as well. Set that intention, put that wish out there, whatever it is that you want to find, put it out there because you are a master manifester. You are, your wishes are, are destined to become true. If they're not destined to come true, it doesn't matter because you're going to rewrite your own destiny as you're moving forward, putting those intentions out there. And your spirit guide is strong enough um, to help you with that when you ask for that help. So that's what I have for you, group three. I thank you so much for being here. I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next reading.